Well, okay, our beloveds. We are sitting out back, listening to the highway noise, pulling weeds through the body of our another. And we're going to share something with you, which we don't actually even share with her. So the question that we have for you all, she's already chuckling because she can feel where we're going with this, but when you all are in tune with us, meaning you are connected to spirit, you are connected to those points of inspiration, and then you follow through. Well, what we don't really share, because honestly, it would creep out many of you with fears of possession. But when you set an intention, and you allow us to bring you those points of inspiration, and then you act on them, and you feel so creative and productive, well, we are possessing you in one form or another. We are merging with you. And what we mean is let's assume that you want uh, a particular growth phase in a particular area. Well, then those energies or (laughs) spirit guides or whatever you want to call them who are well suited. So think of Tesla as a good example if you are going in that area. When you have an energetic imprint that desires to go in a particular direction, well, when you go and act on it, in this case, or another is pulling weeds, not something that you would really call inspirational, yet she is out there doing it with gusto and fervor and taking her time. She will work for 10 minutes, then go sit in the shade for five. She will water where it gets stuck because there's no point in breaking your back in pulling something out when you can just add water to soften the soil a bit. And she is seeing how in this very short time frame, she is managing to accomplish a lot. And she's not irritated or annoyed by what she's doing in the baking sun with the bikini top and soft shorts. So why are we sharing this? Because we want you all to understand her point of inspiration is to get her home back into order. When she got ill, much fell apart, her depression set in, and she had very little energy or inspiration to get anything done. Honestly, if we had to uh, designate the biggest problem was she just saw herself stuck and that it would never end and her soul was pretty much done in some ways because There was no point to any of this. It was just living until you die. And now that she is single and working on her own points of interest and uh, problems and properties, it is no longer joint or shared where she felt like she was just an albatross hanging on with no purpose, no love, no nothing. And now it is all hers. And she gets to decide what to do with it and how to manicure it and how to get stuff done, how to get shit done, literally. Think of the snail house, right? She carried five gallon buckets of shit into her bathroom and poured it into the toilet because it needed to be done. And she can wait for three weeks to solve the problem or she can just do a short-term solution. This is how she merges with us And we bring her the logical solutions out of creativity. And so we want to point out to you, especially, especially you Christians, when you pray to God to be shown your role, your purpose. And when it comes from a place of love, not hatred, but a place of love and compassion and collaboration and creation, and not exclusion. So when you open up your home and your hearts to all Christians and non-Christians, feel how that feels. Feel how that feels so very different than when you are marching somewhere um, for, uh, or another doesn't want this particular example. When you are marching on any political cause that you strongly believe in, But it is not from a place of openness. It is from a place of defensiveness. When you engage in activities that are win, 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 win. When you help the homeless, when you help the needy, and you give them a short-term handout, you give them housing, you give them retraining, you give them food and resources, you give them a loving community that helps to nurture them back to health 
and love and collaboration, to be honest, because they are oftentimes shut down. When you do something like that, everybody wins. When you discuss abortion, when you discuss immigration, when you discuss welfare, when you discuss climate change, see how it is a divided conversation. But what about those days when you just go out and you pull your weeds to create a great, beautiful space in your backyard and you have an appreciation of understanding how nature works and being in nature and appreciating the fact that you have a home where you even get to pull the weeds instead of being grumbly and cranky and irritable. It matters. Our another has gone through another huge, huge shift in her surrender journey, which she may or may not share about. It is for her to decide. But we can tell you that her inner framework is vibrating more and more from a place of compassion and grace and acceptance, most importantly, of that which she cannot change. And she is inviting people into her life now that a year ago were banished because they hurt her and were unable to support her. But the beauty is by her protecting her heart and removing those people because they really did hurt her vibration by telling her that she was doing it wrong or not doing it in alignment with their demands, requests, or insistence. Well, when you finally do get to that place where you are finally healed, when your scabs and your wounds are covered over with new fresh skin that is elastic and resilient instead of being delicate to the touch, well, then those people may have access to your life again because you are no longer so tender and touchy. And therein lies the solution. When somebody is permitted or granted the right to heal on their own terms, they can get there much quicker because there's less resistance because people aren't telling them that they're doing it wrong and they have guidance from those who are telling them how to do it in a healthy way, but within their own construct. And now she gets to invite two new people into her life in a very, very short time frame, one today and one very soon. So we just share with you how healing looks. Protect your own hearts. Allow your hearts to heal in a way that inspires you. Find those points of inspiration. Act on them. Know that we will partner with you to make bigger things happen because when energy is in your favor, it really can't be stopped. You just think of a fire, a wildfire. It cannot be put out until it's ready to be put out by the elements or just by burning itself out. And then the regrowth, the renewal, the regeneration, the re-everything comes about. Re-your life today. Relive it. Re-experience it. Regenerate it into what you desire the most. And our specific request today is for those Christians. Reassess your God. And what do you think God should look and feel like? It should feel more like love, generosity, openness, understanding. If God forgives you for your sins as you define them, then you should allow others to make their mistakes with no judgment either, but instead offering a helping hand so that they will feel you as an extension of God as well. Because time is running out for the church as you know it. And we just ask for those who really are the lovers of Christ instead of the lovers of hierarchy, structure, power, and control, that you become the true essence of who you came to be. And that is an extension of the love of Jesus Christ who you claim to be a follower of. 
a savior of, if you will, right? If he saved you, then allow yourself to be generous and loving to others as well as a reflection and an imprint of the Christ consciousness that came to teach this planet where we can and should go, which is simply unconditional love. And so it is. Namaste.